Welcome to the castle project. Your job today in class will be to find the volume of this castle. This castle is made up of nine shapes and I'm gonna list them in an order that I'd like you list, to list them uh, to find the volume so I can grade this when I get back. This is the entire castle. If you flipped it over, this would be its base just on the bottom. So if you have trouble figuring out what some of the dimensions are, this picture off to the side may help you. Number one, that is right in the middle, that is a rectangular prism. I would like you to find that first. Uh, number two, we'll go right here. Number two, I'll call that the front cylinder. Number three, I'll put that right on top. Number three would be the cone. Let's see, number four. Let's work our way back here. This is number four. The bottom side of that we'll say is the triangular prism. It is considered a prism, just this bottom part here, because it has matching bases. They're both triangles connected by rectangles. So number four would be the triangular prism. Number five, on top of that, would be a triangular pyramid. It goes to a point, its base is a triangle, so we call it a triangular pyramid. Next one I'd like to do, let's see, so that's number five. Number six is down here on the bottom. That would be, we'll call that your back cylinder. Uh, on top of that right here, number seven, where that is a hemisphere. It is a sphere cut in half. So if you can find the whole sphere, you can divide that in half to get the hemisphere. Uh, number eight, right here, this would be a square prism or box if you're okay with that. Uh, and on top of that, so that's number eight, and on top of that, the very last one, number nine, that would be a square pyramid. You probably do not want to mark, write any marker. I am just writing in a marker so that you can see everything very clearly on my video. So I'm going to slide this down. Make sure you have these listed. One rectangular prism, two front cylinder, three is cone, four triangular prism, five triangular pyramid, six is your back cylinder, seven is your hemisphere, eight is your square prism, and nine is your square pyramid. Once you find the volume of all nine of those, please add them together and give me the grand total. We're thinking of this as a, as a sandcastle, so all the measurements are in inches. So when you get the total volume, please make sure your final answer is inches cubed. Because that's what volume is, it's its capacity. How many cubic inches could fit into that? So let's look at the formula sheet for a minute. You were given a formula sheet and you're gonna focus on the second column here where it has solid figure formulas. We're doing volume, so I underlined the five formula uh, formulas that you will need. However, there is another formula that is not listed here that is a very good one to know. If you have to find the volume of any prism, you may use the formula area of the base times the height. Uh, that's why I use capital B. So if you have a triangular prism in this one, make sure you find the area of the triangle first and then multiply it by the height of the prism. The height is how far apart the triangles are. All the other prisms that you use on this project are rectangular prisms, so you can use this formula right here. Okay, let's go back to the uh, castle drawing. I wanna give you one more hint before you get started on this. And that would be for this guy right here. All right. This guy right here, the bottom of this one, is a triangle. This is a triangular prism, 
with a triangular pyramid. The triangular prism is area of the base times the height, where at the top, the triangular pyramid is one third area of the base times the height. And height of a pyramid is whatever it is up the middle. Now, to find the area of the base, it might be easiest to look over here and just find the area of that triangular base at the bottom. I'm hoping that you remember that the formula for any uh, triangle, the area, is one half base times height. Please note I'm using lowercase b. So the length of the base there is three and you don't have the height. So you wanna make sure that you sketch that in and calculate it. Personally, I use Pythagorean theorem to get that. If this was equal lateral, I could divide the three and a half uh, to get 1.5 to help me get the height of the base. So once I get the area of the base, I can plug it in. So there are your hints for those. Best of luck.